Hi, Brendan. This is Jeff with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas, and as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and the things that you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, nice layout, good amount of contents, the services you offer. You also have your client testimonials, which is really important for a website. So there's actually just some few things we're gonna get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google size. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just first to see how many words you have on your homepage. So currently you only have 294 words, which is quite behind with the goal of 1500. So if you add more words into your homepage, the better. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. If you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I did a quick search and I used the keyword fencing in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. So starting off with the first one, this is what we call the sponsored or the paid ones where people are actually paying ads for their website to show up here. So we're not going to be talking much about the paid ones, but rather we'll move on to the next part. So this right here are what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, and G.com, that will really help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So we pulled up one of your top competitors' website. Let's see what they have differently. So looking at their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have their call to action. They also have good photos, nice layout, good amount of contents. They also have their client testimonials. Let's see how many words they have on their homepage. So for their website, they have 1,601 words, which is a better number, which means if you add more words into your homepage, the higher chances of your website in being considered by Google as a much more trustworthy website. Let's go to move on with the numbers. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the pay tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers starting off with DR. This is the level of trust that Google has in your website and you are is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, these are other website that refers to your website. So they're like shout outs from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. Let's also take a look at your competitors' numbers. Starting off with DR and UR, well it shows that Google finds their website a much more trustworthy and a stronger website. That's also because they have more backlinks, they also have more keywords which gave them way more traffic. Well, you don't need to be overwhelmed with the numbers that they have here because one important thing that I need to tell you about backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a two to one ratio. So the 636 referring domains that they have, these are what we call the good or high quality backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are just the spammy backlinks. So what you can actually do differently on your end is, of course, you can still increase the number of your backlinks. You can definitely add more keywords. Just don't forget to increase the high quality backlinks for you to have a much better ratio. As a result, you'll definitely get more traffic out of it. Let's also take a look at the strong backlinks and the keywords that your competitors are using. Let's discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your website stronger and better. Starting off with the referring domains, 
these are all the directories they're currently listed on that brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. Next are the organic keywords. These are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for the specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important choosing the right keyword is. That way more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. For every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content. When we're going to add more words into your homepage, that way Google actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next are the backlinks when we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not the least will be the keywords when we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and, of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. And, of course, we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. Eric will also be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.